Brian. Cass, can you head back to the data center quickly? What's the issue? The team are just finishing up going over the data from P3. They want to confirm some aspects of the tire strategy with you. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? We won't do anything you're not comfortable with. Okay, let, let me just finish up here. We'll be waiting, uh, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Brian. We think you can push for the fastest lap. Not now. Yep, we're in a strong position. See what you can do. No problem. is 2.4 seconds. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Move. Good job. That's P6, you've moved up into P6. Only got two laps of fuel left.
Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. The teammate behind is 14.0 seconds. is 3.9 seconds. Front is 5.1 seconds. We'll see you in Park Fermi. That's quite some achievement for Alfa Romeo's Casper Ackerman, getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often that you see any team outside of the top three pick up that extra point. Alfa Romeo went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Alfa Romeo now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves.
run. Cass, meant to say, nice work on that fastest lap. That's a welcome point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the team did well. Well, you drove the thing, Cass. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, there are rumours you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow. Put my mind at rest, would you? I'm coming to the team dinner, Brian. Beautiful place we booked. Reason to celebrate. You're gonna love it. Is Zoe still coming? Yeah, she wouldn't miss it. Terrific! Wonderful! Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. Hey, Zoe. Hey, hey, everyone's talking about the team dinner. We're still going, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, Cass. You'll miss these things when they're gone. Hmm, we'll see. Why did I marry such a miserable man? Because he makes up for it with his charm. Hmm, that's not what I heard. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear in the news. What are you up to? Just emails and stuff. Okay, I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you there. Bye. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Casper. Uh, you will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey. Where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Hayden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him?
You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologise to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the centre of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? Yeah. And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Kenneth, and how much easier as he added, because of all of that. What can we do? Beat him. <laughs>